So the NASA press release uh, last week was about the discovery of two uh, hidden supermassive black holes in our cosmic backyard. Uh, and these uh, projects involve the whole NASA New Star Telescope team, which is based in um, Caltech in USA. And I was the lead researcher of one of the supermassive black hole discovered, which is in the Galaxy NGC 1448. It took about one and a half years to get all the data together, uh, to analyze the data and also to write up the paper. Black hole is a compact object uh, in the universe that has a very strong gravity that uh, it pulls everything in, not even light can, ex uh, can escape. And supermassive black holes are black holes that are at least a million times more massive than our sun. We all astronomers are aware supermassive black holes are in all uh, massive galaxies out there, including our our own galaxy, the Milky Way. We have we have our own supermassive black hole, uh, but in the Milky Way, it's not active which means that it's not actively accreting material. And the one that I'm studying is an active supermassive black hole, which means that it's acti actively growing, actively accreting material around it. Yeah, when I first get the uh, new star data, I was very happy. I was actually jumping up and down and emailing my supervisor and my uh, the NASA people that uh, we, we detect this source. That means that uh, we disco discovered uh, this source. So I was uh, very excited and happy. But um, this is one of the facts that maybe people have got it wrong. Uh, the presence of the active supermassive black hole that uh, in this galaxy was uh, discovered about eight years ago in 2009. This is still a shocking discovery because uh, of the distance um, of this galaxy to us. It's like the 38 million years away from us. So in astronomy, this is very close. And the fact that the presence of an active supermassive black hole in the galaxy was only discovered less than 10 years ago, this is considered quite shocking. And my study is that I provide uh, the first direct imaging of this uh, a supermassive black hole in this particular galaxy. And uh, we can't observe it directly before because it was uh, it is covered by a very thick layers of gas and dust around it. But now with uh, NASA's latest uh, X-ray telescope called New Star, we were able to trace uh, the high energy X-ray emission from this uh, black hole that is able to penetrate through these thick layers of gas and dust. The shortage of women in uh, physics, not only astrophysics, is a worldwide problem actually, even in the UK and in the US, and they are trying to promote this, pro promote uh, female to do more physics and astrophysics. And I would um, tell um, Malaysian especially that uh, to women not to afraid to be involved in physics and astrophysics because it's not as hard as you think. It's, uh, most people are just afraid of the word physics, but it's not as hard as you think. First of all, of course, I want to thank my husband and also my family who has been, who has always been there for me and been my number, number one supporter. Um, I also want to thank um, everyone in Malaysia, uh, the media and also the public that has reached out to me uh, and say congratulations. Um, I'm very honoured and overwhelmed by the wishes uh, I've, uh, and I am also want to apologise for those that I haven't got uh, back because uh, yeah, I've, I've been overwhelmed with all the um, contacts by people and the media. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much Adlika, we're so proud of you. We hope to see you thank in Malaysia. You.